Hello, Julie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be playing around with alcohol inks on a sheet of acetate and I thought I'd just turn the camera on and let you watch the process if you're interested. I have seen this, um, well I saw it uh, somewhere, I can't remember where, and I loved the brightness of it um, with the alcohol inks because they usually are very bright but they can be watered down and generally are. With this technique um, I'm not using any blending solution so the alcohol inks retain their full colour. All I'm doing with an assortment of colours is putting dobs of uh, the colour onto the acetate and then using that little Couture Creations puffer machine that blows the air or blows air onto the alcohol inks and moves it around so that it looks like ink spots or whatever you like to think they look like. Um, so I'm doing that with an assortment of colours and I found that um, the best results, I got the best results when I just did a few uh, dots of ink at a time. The longer the ink sat on the acetate before I blew it with the air, the less movement I got. So um, I changed my technique and started only doing just, you know, three or four dobs at a time. And then when I'd blown those about with that little tool, I put the next few dots down. I have got this tool. I find that um, it does make your hands ache and as I have arthritis it's probably not the best thing for me but you can also do the same thing with a straw you can um, drop down your ink and then blow it with a, through a straw and you'll get the same effect and I think you can also do the same thing with like um, more like a hair dryer than a heat tool something that pushes air around where a heat tool doesn't really but yes, I have uh, heard that you can do it that way as well. But anyway, I persevered with this puffy machine and um, got the effect that I wanted. I really love the bright colours of it when it's finished. I did use um, a couple of shimmer um, inks on this as well. But the colours I've used anyway, they're all paper mill um, alcohol inks. And the colour I used are Poppy. Leaf, Emerald, Rose, Turquoise, Citrus, Amethyst. I also used one called Pearl and that's sort of like a white. And I put that on um, in the areas where there was no colour, thinking that it would be better than just the um, see-through clear. But I wasn't all that impressed with it. It seemed to muddy up the colours next to it. So if, when I do this next time, I probably won't use the pearl in that way. I also used a couple of shimmer um, inks, one called magenta and one called amethyst. And they have a nice shimmery look to them. Sort of like a pearl, sort of like a pearl. Anyway, I went ahead and, as I said, used all those colours that I listed and uh, tried not to mix any colours like purple and red together so that I'd end up with brown. But uh, I did pretty well. I think I only got one or two little sections that looked that way. Uh, once I'd put all of the ink onto the acetate, uh, I set it aside to dry naturally. You can dry it with your heat gun, but I don't tend to dry anything really with my heat gun. I'm more of a set it aside and let it dry on its own sort of crafter. So... Um, I did leave this overnight before I did anything with it. I stamped and fussy cut some flowers out of this and used them to decorate the front of a card. I still have a lot of this sheet left and I can use it in other ways as well. I'll put a link in the description box below to the cards that I made. Well, I only made one card, but it's in a set of three. Uh, made one card. I'll put a link to that video in the description box if you want to see what the flowers look like that I made with this 
sheet once I've finished and let it dry. Anyway, that's my video for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching this and I hope you give it a try. It's really a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing it and mixing the colours up and getting that nice bright effect. Loved it. When I did use the acetate to create the flowers for the card, I turned it over. So I've got the shiny side on the top and the alcohol ink is actually on the bottom of the acetate. So it's facing down towards the paper that it's sitting on top of. It uh, gives it a nice gloss finish. You can go for the um, matte, I suppose, finish um, of just the colours straight up on top. I don't think they'll move. I think that once they're on there, they're fairly permanent. So anyway, I'm going to just put on a bit of background music now. Um, I think I've told you all I can think of to tell you about this process. So I'll just put some music on and you can just uh, watch to the end and uh, see how this all turns out. As I said, I used this on a card, at, I cut some flowers out of it, so I went ahead and used the same technique with a couple of green inks to create just a green piece of acetate so that I could create some leaves. I mixed together the um, what, citrus, emerald and leaf on the sheet to, do the, um, to make the leaves from. So that's my video for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I really enjoyed this and I'm going to do it more. Um, next time I think I might add some metallic inks in with the colours and see what sort of effect I get there. Thank you once again for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you click that uh, bell next to the subscribe button and click all, you'll be notified each time I upload a new video.